Stop buying real fragrances in 2024 because you are just wasting your money. Before you start commenting about the unspeakable things that you want to do to me right now, after hearing me say that and seeing the title of this video, please just let me explain and speak my case here. Clone fragrances have simply gotten to a point where they are so ridiculously good. I truly believe that for the average person watching this video right now, you shouldn't be buying any full price designer or niche fragrances anymore. Currently, I own about 160 bottles of cologne and about 60 of those fragrances are actually clones from Middle Eastern and Dubai based companies. But the reality is guys, if I didn't make videos to you every single day, my cologne collection would be strictly dupes. And that is not an exaggeration. Genuinely, if I was just a normal person that enjoyed fragrances, there is no need for me to, you know, spend 60, 100, $200 on a fancy new fragrance when I can just buy Latafa Camera for 20 US dollars and smell better than 99% of the male population. In case I haven't won you over yet on siding with clone fragrances, here are five clone fragrances that I believe are literally, in my honest, humble opinion, just as good, if not even better than the fragrance that they are cloning. These ones cost about a quarter less than their original, and they smell just as good, if not better. They're insane. Let's get into it. Up first is the real battle here, Athnan 9 pm versus Ultramel. I think this debate has been going on since Athnan came out and took the fragrance world by storm. Kind of just starting the absolute stampede of clone fragrance releases and just the clone hype in general, but honestly, it is for very good reason. This is still one of the best clones available on the market. And I actually do believe that it smells and performs better than Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramel. Actually, before I continue, I think it's very important that I just put a disclaimer now. I'm not being paid a single cent by any of these Middle Eastern clone companies for this video or any video in the future. The reason I feel like I have to specify is because I know especially on TikTok platform, you know, there's a lot of creators doing some soft stuff for a bit of commission. I'm just telling you right now, I am not that creator. I'm just truly blown away by how good these clone fragrances have gotten, and I want to share it with you. Just like Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultramel, this is a bubblegum, super sweet, youthful smelling fragrance. I think the pear note in Ultramel gets replaced with an apple note in Afnan, but the reality is it's just a fruity, sweet, bubblegummy smell. The only difference I can really pick up in terms of scent between Afnan and Ultramel is Afnan is slightly more fresh. However, I wouldn't say, you know, in the air, your average Joe on the street, if one guy walked past with Ultramel, one guy walked past with Afnan, so that dude's nose, both of those guys are going to be smelling the same. And he's going to go, that's a weird coincidence. There's two guys just walked past me wearing the exact same fragrance. That's kind of weird. That's what he would be thinking. He wouldn't go, hmm, one is just a little bit more fresh. No, they're, they're too similar for that. But why is Afnan better than Ultramel? And why is this first up on this top five? The reason is simple. The performance is better on Ultramel, at least on my skin and other creators that I've talked to. Most of them tend to get better performance with this sexy boy right here. I get eight to nine hours longevity with moderate projection, but strong projection in the first two hours. Whereas Ultramel, close to that six to eight hour range. Both are honestly strong fragrances. This one is just 25 to 30 US dollars if you buy them from the right places. Link in description if you want to know the best places to buy this. Whereas Ultramel is going to run you at least around a hundred bucks. So honestly, unless you are shallow, which I respect it if you are, if you're open to admit it, if you're shallow and you want to own the Ultramel bottle, you want to say you own a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance, then get Ultramel. Oh, and if you just have a lot of money to spend, get Ultramel. But if you're, you know, a normal part of the population, save the money and just buy the clone. Before we get into the next clone fragrance that is so good, it's basically the reason I made this freaking video. Let me just say, people are going to argue in the comments that they don't buy clone fragrances because they feel like it kind of takes away from the original perfumer's creation. Look, I totally understand where you're coming from and I actually do completely agree. There are a lot of big creators in the space right now kind of fighting back against clone fragrances and clone brands because they feel like they're just ripping off the original perfumer's creation. And I get it, it is true. But the reality is, if these really big designer and niche brands simply lowered their prices and stopped increasing them and made them more attainable for the average person's income, clone fragrances probably wouldn't even exist and have a market and demand to fill. So that's just also something to keep in mind. Personally, when I go and buy a clone fragrance, 
Do I feel bad for the perfumer when I purchase the clone? Not really, but it does kind of linger on my mind. It's going to have to be your decision at the end of the day. But personally, I think you guys should have saved the money. Smell freaking amazing. And buy at least, like, you should be buying clones like 90% of the time. The second clone fragrance we will be discussing is a clone of one of my all-time favorites, BDK Gris Chanel, and that clone is Latafa Liam. If you're watching this and you aren't up to date with Latafa, they are dominating the clone game and just the fragrance game in general. Latafa probably is making more revenue than pretty much any designer or niche perfume brand you can think of. In fact, just from the Latafa brand alone, I own about 25 of their clone fragrances. Is that a bit crazy and excessive? Maybe. Should Latafa sponsor me? 100%. If you're, if anyone from Latafa is listening right now, slide into my DMs. Hit, hit your boy up. I, re, I, re, I talk about you guys all the time. Come on. These two fragrances honestly smell about 95% the same. The performance is around about the same as well. So in terms of smell and performance, I would say they're equal, but then it just comes back to, you know, value for money. This is about 40 US dollars, whereas this, I don't know, in Australia, it's about 250, so maybe 180 US dollars, maybe a little bit less, but still, it's around four times more expensive than this Latafa fragrance. So once again, it comes down to, are you shallow or are you going to swallow your pride and ego and smell the exact same for less money? It's it's up to you guys, but come on, just get the, get the clone. This is a powdery iris creamy creamy woody with some vanilla fragrance it smells so freaking good the only thing i would say is just don't blind buy it even the clone i wouldn't recommend blind buying it typically when you get a fragrance and add a strong iris note it is not going to be blind buy safe unless you know you love the smell of iris because it's a very distinctive smell but the creamy element in here it's like a cream i believe it's like a creamy sandal woody type smell it is amazing it's also very fresh so i find it's a pretty much, you know, fragrance you can wear every single day of the year if you want to. Only drawback is, like I said before, not blind by safe. And two, it might be a bit too feminine, okay? I'm just putting it out there. Both of these smell 9 out of 10. Performance, solid. Not going to be, you know, overpowering or too, too strong. But it definitely won't let you down. Check out Latafa Liam. Remember when I told you guys Latafa is killing the game right now? And I talk about him all the time. Bam! Another Latafa. This one is called... Why is it so bright? This one is called Honor and Glory. And although it's not a clone, I'm comparing it to Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Beau, Le Parfum. Essentially, they're both very creamy, vanilla, heavy, coconut, kind of tropical fragrances. But this one has an even sweeter vibe to it. It's got Crambule, which is an amazing dessert and also has a kind of like... I don't know how to explain. It's super, super fruity. Whereas this one is kind of, it's better blended, but it's not as sweet and it's not as kind of Middle Eastern. This one definitely has a Middle Eastern vibe to it. Both, Both of them are the same, maybe 60% similar. They, similar. they have a similar vibe and aesthetic, but they're not like a clone. I'm just comparing them because I haven't really found another good clone of this fragrance. I've heard Cud Large Island is really good. However, I haven't tried it yet. So if you have, let me know down in the comments. But this, honestly, I'm wearing it more than Le Beau Le Parfum at the moment. It's sweet. It's super sexy. For the Australian summer, if you want a summer night party type of scent, definitely check out Latafa Honor and Glory, especially if you're in the younger age demographic, maybe between 14 and 24. That is the age range I would say suits this fragrance the best. Like I'm pretty sure I already mentioned, the performance on this is absolutely freaking crazy i'm not going to say it's a beast mode fragrance but for the first three hours everybody is going to be smelling you kind of like Le Beau Le parfum performance wise i would say they're pretty similar i would say honor and glory projects a bit louder but doesn't last quite as long whereas it's the opposite with Le Beau Le parfum if you can sample both of them and pick whichever one you like best but bottom line is if you want sweeter get honor and glory if you want a kind of better blended but probably won't pull as many compliments get Le Beau Le parfum as much as this pains me to include on this list because because I just bought the original. Angel Share by Killian and Mason Alhambra's Kismet's Angel, I believe. Do I believe it's been renamed now to Kismet Magic or something? Because Killian said, you know, I see what you guys are doing. I'm gonna come over and try to sue your ass for a lot of money. And then Mason Alhambra was like, whoa, bro, chill out. Okay, I'll change the name and keep the juice the exact same. And I think that was good enough for Killian because I don't think Killian could sue them anymore. Smell-wise, though, they're about 90, 85 to 90% 
the same. I, I think I remember telling you guys, I'm never gonna actually buy the real Angel Share because of how good this clone is. Um, yeah, I lied to you guys. I did end up purchasing the real Killian's Angel Share, but the main reason for that is because I wanted to be able to sell decants of the real thing to you guys in Australia. Go visit fbfragrances.store if you live in Australia and want samples of this or anything else in my collection and what I talk about in this video. Both of these fragrances smell like a baked pastry good, super, super boozy, big dose of cinnamon and a big dose of vanilla. Picture a warm, freshly baked pastry topped with cinnamon and caramel and you get both of these fragrances. In terms of uh, the difference between these, it's sec It's really nothing. They smell pretty much the same. You could argue this smells a bit denser and richer. Like you can tell side by side if you put your nose up close that this is the real thing. But in the air, again, just like pretty much any clone fragrance that does a good job, they're gonna smell the same to your average person on the street. Performance on the original Angel Share isn't actually that strong. It's definitely more of a skin scent with long longevity. And I think that does suit the scent profile well. Like if that makes sense. I think some fragrances are made on purpose to project and last longer, whereas some purposely designed to stay close to the skin. This is definitely a more warm, inviting, and cozy fragrance. So I'm glad that, you know, Killian went that route. Kismet Angel or Kismet Magic definitely follows on that same path. It lasts about seven hours, but stays very close to the skin, even closer than Angel Share. So if you're looking for a powerhouse fragrance, avoid both of these. The final clone fragrance that is just as good, if not better than the original, is another Latafa, guys. I hate to be boring, but they just do everything so damn well. It is Latafa's Just Saw. This is a clone of Valentino Coral Fantasy. I've actually never smelled these two next to each other up close, so let's do that right now. On the left hand, let's go with Latafa Jasaw. And on the right hand, we're going to go with Valentino Coral Fantasy and compare these two side by side. Latafa Jasaw. Oh. Valentino Coral Fantasy. On paper right now, they actually smell about as close to 100% the same as any two fragrances can get. I mean, genuinely, if someone blindfolded me and sprayed these two fragrances on and I didn't know what they'll spray, I'll just go, why did you just use the same fragrance twice on two different strips? That makes no sense. That's how close they're smelling right now. I'm gonna have to test the performance on the top of just saw because I only recently got it about a week ago. So I haven't had a chance to really experiment with it. But just off this strip right now, it's smelling the exact same as Cold Fantasy. That is ridiculous. That is going to wrap it up on this video on why you should stop buying real fragrances in 2024. Because again, the reality is, guys, these clone companies out in Dubai are doing such a freaking incredible job at basically showing how overpriced these designer and niche fragrances are currently and why it needs to change. If you disagree, please do let me know in the comments and state why. I'm open to seeing, you know, people that disagree or agree with me. I just feel right now for your average person with a, you know, average income that just wants to smell good, clone fragrances are the way to go because you can buy five incredible clone fragrances for about the same price as one incredible niche fragrance. And in my brain, that is a no-brainer. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have a blessed rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.